Let's find the antiderivative to this integral. So the way to integrate this one, this integral, would be through partial fraction decomposition because of this polynomial in my denominator. So what I'll start by doing is I'll start by factoring out that denominator. And because this is a quadratic, that shouldn't be too difficult. So you just should look for what two numbers have a sum of 5, and at the same time, their product is equal to 4. If you're thinking 4 and 1, then you'd be correct. So it'd have x plus 4 and x plus 1 dx. Now I can start decomposing. So I'd create two fractions that when I add them together, give me back this result. So I don't know what the two fractions are. I mean, the, the numerator of the two fractions are. So I plug in a unknown constant for the moment. So this is what my integral looks like. And to fully integrate this, I'm going to look for these unknown constants a and b first. And to do that, I, will be I would be combining these two fractions into one by finding the common denominator between the two. So I just multiply each one of these fractions by the denominator of the other. So I end up getting a times x plus 1, oops, x plus 1, plus b times x plus 4, all over the same denominator of x plus 4 times x plus 1. And now I don't really care about the denominator. I'm just looking at the numerator for the time and just pulling this out of the integral for just to find the constants a and b. I'll be distributing the a's and b's in here. So I have ax plus a plus b bx plus 4b is all equal to the original numerator of that first integral, so just 1. And now I'll create a mini system of equations, and I will be creating two equations in this case because I have terms with a degree of 1, and then I also have terms with a degree of 0. So for my 0 degree terms, I have a plus 4b and I look for anything with a degree of 0 on my right-hand side, and I have that 1. And now for my degrees of 1, I have a plus b. However, on my right-hand side, I don't have anything with a degree of 1 there, so I'll just make this equal to 0. So immediately, I could get that a is equal to, the, to negative b. And I could plug that into that first equation so that I get minus b plus 4b is equal to 1. So that leaves me with 3b equals 1, so b is equal to 1 third. And I know that a is the negative version of b, so a is just negative 1 over 3. Now that I found my constants, all I have to do is just plug them back into the, their decomposed fractions. So at the same time, I'm going to put these into separate integrals because I think that's easier to solve or keep up with your work. but. Anyways, so I'd have one, negative 1 over 3 over x plus 4 dx plus the integral of 1 third x plus 1 dx, right? Because I just plugged in the constants into, these, into this decomposed fraction form. So now to start integrating these two, you could pull out these, these constants. So you'd have negative 1 over 3 over 1 x plus 4 over, wait, 1 over x plus 4 dx. And then for the second one, you just pull out that 1 third, and you're left with 1 over x plus 1 dx. So for both of these, it's just a simple u substitution to figure out the antiderivative of this is. So you'd get 1 over u for both of them with their respective denominators in that u. So we know that the integral of 1 over u is just ln of whatever that u is. So for my first one, I'd have 1 over third, 1 over 3 ln x plus 4. And then the second one is the same thing. It's ln of whatever the denominator is, x plus 1, plus a constant c. And this is a good enough answer. You've come to the, sol the, the solution that's, that's correct. But you could write this in a nicer way. Using your log properties, you can combine this into one logarithm. So you have... Because this is a negative, this is going to be this term is going to be in the bottom and can be 
put into one fraction inside that log. So you have one third, and because they share the same constants, that's why I could do that in case that wasn't clear. So I'd have one third ln of x plus one because this one is positive over x plus four because this one is negative in that log plus c. And that's it.